Hey guys, Skunk Beef here, back at it again with the dank videos. So, uh, today I'll be playing Minecraft 1.16.5, currently, as of February the 27th, the newest. Wait, I just realized, if February is so short, why do we pay the same amount of rent on February as we do for the other months? Anyways, we have to change our language to pirate. Hmm. Now we begin our lonely voyage. So, I will survive and thrive. Oh, I'm, I'm, so basically, I'm making a tutorial series on how to survive and thrive your first night in Minecraft. After creating your world, you'll be thrust into a strange and new environment full of things that that you might not understand. Hello and welcome. We've just began our, our great voyage in Minecraft. Today, I'm going to teach you how to survive and thrive in the miraculous world of Minecraftia. Yeah. The current version is 1.16.5. People watching this will either be on the same version, or a newer version, or an older version. So, to help you all today, the first thing you're going to want to do is survey your surroundings. You want to look down, you're going to want to look up, look to the sky, but most importantly down to the ground. What we're looking for are resources. Resources are things like chickens and pigs they go oink sometimes cows or even flowers today the first order of business will be to collect today the second order of business will be to collect wood wood is a foundational material in minecraft use it to create all sorts of things and this vital building block will help you create the tools to build your vast empire the tools that will help you survive and thrive in this strange cubic world so let's begin first find a tree trees come in the brown variety in the white variety and sometimes other varieties Let's just focus on the brown variety for now. What you're going to want to do is click it. But do more than just click it. You're going to want to click and hold for one, two, three, or five seconds. Now you have a log of oak. This log is very, very, very useful, but one will not be enough for our endeavors. So, why don't you go ahead and click another log for five more seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And again, we're going to need a whole bunch of these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That should be enough for now. Just kidding. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't like to leave floating trees. So now that we've collected wood, our second order of business, just as in Naked and Afraid, will be to find shelter. Shelter comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Shelter could be a secluded area, blocked off, protecting you. From the harsh environment and from the elements. 
Other shelters can be built out of wood or dirt. Some shelters will be caves that can be found. For us, we'll want to find a shelter that has another vital resource for our survival. This vital resource will be coal. And although plentiful throughout this environment, it can often be seen on cliffs. Cliffs can be identified by stone, which is this gray stuff. Look for a cliff that has coal on it. Coal looks like stone, but with black dots. You've identified a cliff with coal. That's the second vital resource that we will need. To collect it, we're going to need a special tool. First, grab a log, put it in your crafting menu. Press E to open your crafting menu, by the way. Now that you've transformed your log into planks, grab your four planks and place them in a square in the crafting menu to create a crafting table. This crafting table will be what you use to make all sorts of complicated recipes. The crafting table gives you access to a 3x3 three three crafting grid, which is five crafting units larger than your inventory crafting grid. So now that we have a crafting grid, let's grab our other logs of oak and turn them into planks. On their own, logs of oak uh, have few crafting recipes. But we need to harvest the coal is something called a pickaxe. To create a pickaxe, place two planks vertically like this. You can also place them like this or like this. All that matters is that two planks are on top. One plank is on top of the other plank. Now that you have pieces of timber, place two pieces of timber, one above the other, and then three planks of oak. This will help create a pickaxe of timber. The pickaxe will help us harvest this coal. Now, if we survey our surroundings, looking down and then up, we notice that the sun, a strange square in the sky, is slowly setting. Once the sun reaches the horizon, the creatures of the night will be released. By then, we will need to have a shelter. Our time is quickly ticking into the future. When we collect this coal, we will also be creating a cavern within this cliff. If you so wish, you can turn this cavern into a home. Come with me. Let's collect this coal. Traversing this great divide will be difficult on our own. Looks like we'll need another tool crafted in the table of crafting to help us on our way. Now the first rule of Minecraft is that most blocks, gravity doesn't exist. So we can use dirt to build a bridge over because using wood is too valuable. So now that you place two pieces of timber on top of each other and then a plank of oak above that, you can create a spade of timber. The spade of timber will help expedite our process to collect dirt. Let's collect seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully that'll be enough for us to traverse that great divide. One, press shift to crouch. This will also stop you from walking off of the edge of a block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We miscalculated slightly. That's okay. We can sacrifice a plank of oak to bridge this gap. Now that we've arrived at the coal, we can attack it with our pickaxe. Let's see how long it takes to destroy a block of coal with a pickaxe of timber. One, two, three, four. That took four seconds. Astounding. Let's see how long it takes to destroy stone with a pickaxe of timber. One, two, two seconds. Fantastic. Let's collect all these resources. 
Fantastic. Now that we've collected ample supplies of coal and wood, we can now hollow out this cavity and create a home that will protect us throughout the night. Let's begin. First we take our spade of timber. Create a nice place to sleep. Next, we'll take our pickaxe of timber. Hollow it out a little bit more. Fantastic. Now let's go back down to base camp. Collect our table of crafting. To collect our table of crafting, you can A, punch it or B, create another fantastic tool that will help us in our journey. This tool will be called an axe of timber. Put two pieces of timber, one above the other, and then three pieces or three planks in a corner shape, either on the left side or the right side. This will create a hatchet of timber, my bad. Using this, we will hastily collect our crafting table. Now, let us travel back to our home. It's getting dark now. The clock is ticking. Now, we need to create a source of light to protect us from the baddies in the dark. Place a piece of timber and one piece of fuel on top of that to create four torches. I will light up our house with a torch. We have a nice defensible position to protect us from the creatures of the night. Now I'll create something called a door. A door is created by using six planks and putting them in a rectangular shape. This actually creates three doors of oak timber. This is fantastic. Now we can place a door like so, and this will keep creatures out of our home. It opens like so, very easy, very nice. Now, it's time to huddle in here for the duration of the night. But instead of just sitting, doing nothing, we can prepare for the morning. For in the morning, the creatures of the night may still be roaming about, hiding in dark places. To prepare for the morning, we will use our last two planks of oak to create more sticks. Using these sticks, we can actually create something called a sword. Using the two pieces of cobble that we mined, we can place one cobble above the other with a stick underneath the column of cobble and create a cutlass of rock. This will be our trusty weapon to protect us in the night for the days to come. The cutlass of rock is very useful. Back in older versions of Minecraft, you could actually block with swords. Not anymore. Don't know why. See that green goblin over there? That is called walking TNT, or as other Minecraftians call, a creeper. Creepers, when they approach you, will begin to sizzle, like so, like sss. Once they climax, they explode in a very large explosion that will probably kill you. It's best to avoid such creepers. Well, since we're protected within our house and we can't leave because of the creepers of the night, we can be productive during this time and actually mine. Mining will help us find more resources, like our number two resource, coal, and maybe potentially another one called iron, which will help advance us through the technology tree. So to mine, simply dig straight down. Oh, well, uh, not like that. <coughs> Since our abode is inside of an, an arched structure, we can't dig straight down, sadly. What we can do is dig this way, I believe it's east into the mountain further, the hill further, 
and then we can go down. I'll do that. I'll meet you guys back in the morning. Let you know if I found any iron or coal. My ice cream is melted. Lastly, be sure to light the way as you dig deeper into the darkness. For creatures of the night will spawn in any and all places of darkness. See you in the morning. <laughs>